Well, good morning, everyone. This is a very full room. I am ecstatic to see all of you this morning. I am Keegan Sawyer. I am the director for the Standing Committee on Emerging Science for Environmental Health Decisions. And welcome to our workshop on microplastics. I'm going to open us up this morning and tell you a little bit about the Standing Committee. And you will also hear from my colleague, Emily Twigg, who was the mastermind of organizing with an expert panel for this. And we will also hear from John Balbus this morning who of NIEHS, who is the sponsor for the Standing Committee activity. So first, what we do, this Standing Committee is a horizon scanning Standing Committee. We look across. Um, what is emerging in the sciences and technology and think about how it might be used or is it beginning to be used to address issues in environmental health. Um, this committee is intended to be very proactive in thinking about this science and technology so that it can inform decisions, real-time decisions, decisions coming in a year or two using emerging science. Here is my excellent panel. I upgraded this slide, so that probably surprises all of them. But the, my, my standing committee, these are the members of the Standing Committee on Emerging Science. They're here in the audience, and here are their faces so that you can find them. They span a wide range of expertise, from certainly classical toxicologists to epidemiologists, but also social sciences and philosophy of science. They are an expert group, and we've been around since 2008. This is the latest iteration of this group, um, and this is probably... I don't know, our 27th workshop in that time period. We also work with a really excellent federal government liaison group. These are people from agencies all over the DC area who come and talk about the decisions that they are facing and the science that they need to use to inform those decisions. They help with um, organizing our workshops. They help keep the workshops active and lively. I'm looking at you federal liaisons to keep it active and lively. And um, they help really tie what's on the horizon to what we need to think about on the ground in real, in real, uh, real life, real, uh, real time. Excuse me. So this is the work we've done since 2008. It spans really three big buckets. We certainly look at emerging research um, strategies and methodolo methodologies. We look at actually new science and new technology. And we also look at ways that environmental health is integrating or converging with other big areas of science. Um, it's a lot of space. There's a lot of, if ever anybody wants to slide to see it all in one place, I'm more than happy to send it to you. If you have ideas for a workshop, we're always taking them. This is my brief marketing promotional moment. Um, you can email us. You can submit, submit ideas in through the web. Um, the standing committee meets after every workshop to think about what they're going to do in the next year. And so if you have ideas throughout the course of this workshop, please do send them to us. And you are invited to our next workshops. I always want to welcome you by welcoming you some more. Um, we have two other topics coming up later this year, one on the intersection of aging and longevity and environmental health, and the other on predicting human health effects from environmental exposures by applying um, biomark by looking at biomarkers of effect as opposed to biomarkers of exposure. And with that, I'm going to welcome up my colleague, Emily Twigg, who was responsible for all of you being here today.